All right, guys, I got a really interesting email here. Gonna meet with young Jay here for a minute. I wanna show him something. Got a crossroad, hectic time of day. Man, everybody's out today. Low 80s, good humidity. Let's see what Mr. Jay's up to. How are you doing, Jay? Pretty good, how are you? You alright, man? Yeah. You look, uh, Just eating. you look in much better spirits than you did the other day. Yeah. Gatorade for you, buddy. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. It's getting warm, so. Oh, yeah, it's hard to drink warm anything. Yeah. Alright, um, what about the other backpack I had for you? What do you mean? Oh, the black one? The strap started breaking up. It got too heavy for all my stuff. So it's only been two days. Yeah, no, these, this stuff totally was, wasn't really, it wasn't threaded, I guess. It started breaking on us. So. Wow. Yeah. All right, I'll have to look into that. That was really two days ago. Uh, it could have been three. That's weird. I, I, I think Friday, because I looked for you Saturday and Sunday. Um, let me ask you this. Um, in your opinion, where do you, where, where would you think you would see yourself in the next three to six months? I mean, what, what would be your ideal goal? If you could do anything you wanted to do, what would it be? I don't know. I want to go to Thailand. But I don't know how I'm going to get there. Thailand? Okay. Wow. I want to try Thailand foods. Yeah? Yeah. Well, there's a lot of, you know, Thai restaurants. Yeah. A well, little. Might save a same. few bucks. It's not yeah. the same over here, though. They like, yeah. I feel like they make it different. Well, how do you know? Because the Thailand people are actually down there in Thailand making the food. Well, oh, I know, but have you ever been there? I feel like it could be, I don't know, I just assume. <laughs> <laughs> if you've never been there, then you don't know if it tastes the same there or whether it tastes the same here at a real Thai, you know, Thai restaurant. Anyways, the point being is, is that, you know, I'm not sure how, how obligated do you think that you are to stay in this area? Is this something you look forward to? Do you, I mean, is there something keeping you here in this town? Well, yeah, I can't really, I don't really got a car. It's hard to like go anywhere. Right. I done been complacent here already, so I just, just it, here really. Have you ever, have you ever been out of state, out of Georgia? Yeah. Whereabouts? Uh, I've been in quite a few states. I don't really want to get to the name them because it's actually, yeah, it's actually a lot of stuff. I, know I know North Carolina was going to sure. Yeah. Well, the reason I ask you this is because there, there's a couple in uh, Dallas-Fort Worth area that saw your video and they sent you an email, sent me an email for you, and since then we've talked a little bit more. Man, everybody's out today. Nice yeah, day. No, that's why I'm over here. This yeah. Day, Brian. Yeah, nice day. It's a terrible day. But, uh, Too many people out here. Well, it's a nice day to be out, but not here, so... You know, maybe the strategy needs to be changed a little bit. You know, you're sitting in the shade while guys over here standing around the corner collecting all the cash. Yeah, I know. Yeah. We, can't, we can't have more than one person up here. Though. Well, why don't you guys rotate around? Cool we off. Do. Okay. He's been standing here for a long time. All right. I'm going to read you this email and I want you to think about this for a little bit and, and tell me what you think. This is from a friend of mine. She emailed it. She says, Daryl. I hope I spelled your name correctly. Most people don't, no big deal. I watched your video with Jay today and my heart went out to him the same as yours. First, I understand where Jay is coming from. I know he is hot, frustrated with life and lack of family support. I did not grow up homeless. However, I also had little family support. The wind's taking me away here. I had little family support and lived with abandonment issues most of my life. I am a mom with three young men, 36, 33, and 31. They are all doing well and have college education. I am married and we are empty nesters. Are you familiar with that term? No. The empty nester is when, you know, you, you have a family and all your kids leave the house. Oh. You know, they're grown adults and they leave and now you have an empty nest. 
birds like when your birds get older and fly away out of the nest but uh so they are doing well and have college education i marry we have we are empty nesters empty nesters with no graduation or <laughs> no grandchildren and have four dogs i would like to donate money to help with jay's basic needs my heart feels so much for him as i can see he is an, he is an amazing person and like you said happy go lucky despite his situation my husband and i just bought our forever home and have an extra room we live in fort worth dallas area where jobs are plentiful i would like to offer jay a home to start in if he is interested with free room and food i do not have extra transportation kind of like an extra car however we can talk to many businesses nearby my husband is the manager of a plating company and might be able to get him a good job i would love to give jay a living home where he can build up funds one day to live on his own we would even drive out to georgia and pick him up and that's just that's just from your video man sounds crazy they gonna uh, drive all the way from dallas texas they said they would it might be easier to get a, a flight there or perhaps a bus or whatnot i'm not sure but sounds like a committed family to me i know that i know that's a that's a shock to you you know this is something that just doesn't happen every day yeah. and it's from when i talked to you last time and i seem to have a lot of i got a lot of you know great people that helped me out all over the country uh, well and out of the country canada you know mexico but with that being said um she sent her contact information and whatnot and um she said as soon as i talk to you you know get back to her through email and then they said later on um you know it, it, it's a big step but if you want to get a fresh start you know start over get out of here if you don't see anything changing then you're just going to kind of be in revolving door of sadness right well i think they see that you're young you got ambition you're you know you seem like a pretty smart guy you know you have a job you had a job so you are able to work and capable of work probably just wasn't bro i man i lost my id they, the mohawk lady even came by me today she was like we have open positions put in your application i was like i don't have identification with me like i don't have an id or nothing so. what happened to your id i lost it it dis disappeared into the, the into the darkness? Yeah. Like everything else. It seems like all my documents just disappeared. Oh, uh, yeah. That seems to be a trend in this particular area. I'll tell you what. Is your phone functional? Is it working? It's not. It doesn't have, like, service. Do you got a text now deal where you can at least contact people when you have internet service here from McDonald's or, or Walmart? All right, well, here's the story. Here's what I want to do. I got to meet another guy, and I'm not, definitely not trying to cut you short. Plus, this is a lot of information for you to take in right this second. My phone number here is on the back on Sharpie. All right. Okay. So you want me to like, talk to you after I think about it? Well, yeah, I want you to you know, definitely think about it. You know, think of the pros and cons. And, uh, you know, I'm sure these people, they have a 36-year-old, a 33-year-old, and a 31, so they're probably just a few years older than me. In, in a later email, she told me, this woman, she said that her and her husband have both come from, you know, broken homes, so to speak. You know, we didn't get into specifics and details about it. You know, either way you look at it, they're familiar with your situation and just want to help you out. And, uh... You know, fresh change, get a good job, have a place to stay, food, cable, you know, satellite TV, probably internet service. So is he going to be able to hire me without my ID and stuff? Well, that's a formality. You can get all that even before you go. If they're going to, you know, if you want to go and if you want to ride with them, you know, the reason I'm asking you to think about this and whatnot would be to uh, um consider if you know i can put you in touch with them directly and you guys can talk until you're blue in the face 
you know, get to know one another, you know, if you're interested. I know they're complete strangers, but this has happened with me before. People have reached out in many a video that I've made, you know. I'm not a clown, you know, I, I didn't start this yesterday. You know. <laughs> well, well, just think about it, you know, no, no, uh, no thanks. But I got to meet a guy here a little bit. I'm going to take him, a guy named Malik. I'm going to take him to go get a Social Security card so he can get situated. He's got another person in Texas, totally unrelated, that wants to help him. He's a real estate guy. But uh, that's all beside the point. Um, here, I'll give you the copy of the email. Wait, that way you can read it. Yeah, I got this. I printed this at Saturday at 2.58 and I came looking for you so you can keep that keep her name to yourself I don't know if she wants to be identified necessarily by name or anything just yet you know we can get to that if, if need be but uh that's for you man my email address is probably at the top and so is hers so all right I'll tell you what that's a lot to a lot to spin on you know I'm not making this up you know I'm here on good intentions and uh but I do have an appointment to get to and uh, I'm glad I saw you today because I uh, came by the last couple days. It's probably a timing thing. You've probably been here, but it's just when I get here and you're not here. You know what I mean? Yeah. You might have went to the bathroom or something. I don't know, you know. But, uh, all right. You got food, man? You hungry? Yeah, I'm already eating. Okay, cool, cool. All right, I'll tell you what. When I'm done with him, this is probably going to take a couple hours. we got to go to Social Security building and get his Social Security card so we can get some employment and whatnot. And uh, he might move to Texas himself. <laughs> Maybe you guys can get on the same bus. Who knows? But uh, he actually lives in the same area, this guy. But uh, all right, I'll leave you to it, man. Give me some. All right. If you got any questions, you can give me a call. I'm going to have to try to fuzz out that number if it shows up on the camera here. Flip that over. <laughs> My number. There you go. Either way. But uh, all right, we'll just take a think, think about it. You know, sounds exciting to me, man. A new location, new start. Nobody knows you. Do your own thing. But Nobody knows me here. Well. <laughs> I get, especially your family. There you go. All right, man. All right, I'll talk to you soon. I know that's a, that's a bomb. <laughs> that's a lot of stuff. So. Yeah, that's my background, too. Yeah. All right, well, I'll talk to you. If, uh, I'll, you going to be here tomorrow? Yeah, you're like. You'll be here every day. Well, well, you could also be in a nice bedroom with food and whatnot somewhere else. It's up to you, obviously. But, uh, all right, I'll talk to you, man. All right, good seeing you. I'm, at least, at the very least, you were able to smile today. That was bumming me out last time you, that you weren't smiling. Then you wonder why I wear this hat. Bro. See? I'm in the smile business. No. It's all dirty inside. Yeah. It's like, okay. Take it off his again. Look how dirty it is. Look how dirty it is inside. Well, that's super, that's dirty, that's filthy. I should probably get a new one. I gave you the shoes. Oh, I know. So you assume my hat's dirty. Why would you say that? I'm just messing with you, man. I know, but it makes no sense. All right, man. I'll talk to you later. I got to go. <laughs> that is a bomb of information. And uh, I'll tell you what. If my back was against the wall and I didn't have a family who really gave much of an effort to help me, I would consider all options because what I know, I, I wouldn't know one thing. Is that what I am doing? This is not working. So, uh, I guess only time will tell. All right, I'm gonna sign off.